Hey, it's like 2 a.m. or something in my house. Los Angeles time and I wanted to bring you, come up on the roof. I was just up here chilling and thinking about how beautiful it is, you know, how everything was and I wanted to share it with you. It's part of what I think what the younger people, this generation is going through is they want to share the beauty and the pain with, with you, with everyone. So they're always, people tend to be on their phones and devices because they want to share the moment. I mean, this moment's incredible. Look at this. You can see behind me. This is where I live right now. This is Los Angeles. You know, it's just like everywhere else, but it's pretty incredible. I still believe that we can say anything to anyone and use this technology to do it. This is what Jesus Christ would have done, right? Not super concerned with Jesus, you know, Muhammad of the prophets of old, what they would have done with this technology is they would have helped each other. They would have went through their personal discovery, which I did in 2006. And God, albeit willing, they would have figured out a way to find a balance between the self, realizing that you are God, that you are the center of the universe, of your universe, but that there's another universe out there that you're a part of as a whole, and every one is the center of their universe. Yeah, need I go on? No, no, man, no, needn't I, I needn't. That's the wonderful thing about this, is like once you realize that you're part of the whole, well, then you're stuck in it. Making great music, making great art, and cleaning the earth, cleaning, fixing this place for everybody, somehow, somehow, piece by piece. Should let you in on what I've been doing a little bit. Wow, look up. Have you met Andreas Nicholas yet? He's the third part of this equation. Zena, Andreas, and I have been, I've been working it out. I think that these videos will be way more interesting when I'm with a group, with the group. You know, I, I got one piece of it, but like, a brain's just a brain unless it has a body to move. That's how I feel sometimes, like I'm just piecing together problems. I see a problem and then I think, oh, I know a person that could fix that problem and then I message them on Facebook. I'm like, hey, you could fix this problem. Want to fix it? join us and they're like yeah and then we fix it it's that easy right now it's that easy so let's do it while it's easy that's a very Taoist thing don't wait till the problem is out of control before you start dealing with it right now we have social media and electricity and all these wonderful uh, tools to fix this earth to clean it up The earth is happy. I don't know if you can feel it. I can feel it. The earth is very pleased with us right now. And it's manifesting itself in good dreams for everybody like Kim Jong-un. He really wants to unify the planet. Thank God that you weren't born into that situation. That'd be a tough one to be born where you're like, some, I was born, my dad was a fireman. My mom was really nice. You know, I was, I had a, I didn't have to worry about who was going to kill me and who to kill. Kim, I'm here with you, man. Brother, I love you, man. I, we're doing, let's do this right. We're this generation. We're the people that were born into the internet. Whatever age you are right now, 90, 9, you're born into this. Ask, what can you do? Ask yourself, what can I do? What can I do? Heal yourself. Take care of your body. But beyond that, have a plan for the future. And enact that plan. Piece by piece. Whatever that piece is, and if you, have, if you wonder what that piece is, just ask somebody. Doesn't even have to be somebody that you know or trust, really. Just ask somebody. They'll tell you. They'll give you. They'll give you at least a hint. 
It's a foggy night in Los Angeles. I, wonder, I think that's why the background is so lit, because it's the fog's catching the light. Thank you for being a part of this with me. I very much look forward to the next step.